George was there almost every step of the way. On the 28th of May, the day before the Everest summit attempt, he led the route up the southeast ridge. He was one of a number of guys with cameras on the mountain, but as they climbed higher, George's skills as a mountaineer really thrust him to the front. The really wonderful thing about this book is that we're able to scan from the original negatives and slides, and many of the photographs are published for the first time. George shot pretty much everything on 35mm colour transparency. He photographed on a, his trusty Kodak Retina camera. As he was climbing the mountain, he kept the the camera hanging round his neck inside his down jacket at night with 40-50 degrees of frost he would sleep with the camera inside his sleeping bag so it wouldn't freeze. Now what they were doing, let's not forget, this was a climb that really um, was pushing the boundaries of what was possible and climbing into a, a place we now call the death zone, a place where humans just aren't meant to live. Mm. A place where many people wouldn't really think of taking photographs, you know, this sort of mere surviving is enough. But um, George really took it upon himself to shoot both on film and still the, um, the expedition as it unfolded. And as a result, we come back with amazing material. Many books have been written, so it's very rare to have the opportunity to get back to an original source that's so fresh and honest and true. This book really enables us to be there every step of the way with George and uh, to see the expedition anew.